Laura Secord made her historic walk over 200 years ago, and now, thanks to the Trillium Foundation and modern technology, people on the walk can learn more about its history using their electronic devices. The source was in Niagara-on-the-Lake for the grand presentation to the friends of Laura Secord. I'm happy, I'm happy to be here today for the announcement that the friends of Laura Secord have received a Trillium Foundation grant for $75,000. Their plan to develop a digital tour of Laura Secord 32-kilometer walk will ensure that local residents and the people from around the world can learn about and appreciate the great heritage of the Niagara region. Well, we're delighted to be here, um, myself and some other uh, colleagues from the Friends of Laura Secord. Um, we're very honoured to receive a... Uh, um, certificate uh, from uh, MPP Wayne Gates um, acknowledging um, the contributions that uh, the Friends of Laura Secord has made to the community um, in its in uh, initiatives in the past year or so. And uh, we're also uh, um, had the opportunity to um, um, the, have the announcement of the funds that we receive from the Ontario Trillium Foundation uh, that will enable us to uh, continue um, in our efforts uh, to educate uh, people um, about those that help to define Canada. And we're doing this in a, a rather unique way and along the Laura Secord Legacy Trail, which we established um, last year as a legacy project uh, to commemorate uh, the 200th anniversary of, of Laura Secord's um, courageous walk. Um, 200 years uh, before, and uh, the entire trail uh, will be soon linked to downloadable multimedia resources that will tell the story of uh, Laura Secord and other pioneer women of the time, as well as uh, the First Nations story, and um, it, who were so crucial to the defining of Canada, and yet their story is often um, untold. As a result of our work at the Smithsonian, we were very interested in the, uh, the history that was taking place here uh, with the uh, bicentenary of the War of 1812 and uh, aware that the participation in that history by First Nations peoples has largely gone unnoticed for a long time. And so uh, when we, and, you know, and I was watching what you guys were doing and uh, seeing the interest that you took in making sure that that story was included mm -hmm. and all of the activities you're, you were doing uh, really uh, brought the Friends of Laura Secord to our attention. Uh, I'm also, as a human rights commissioner, I'm delighted that we are going to talk about the role of uh, women, uh, African Canadians and Indigenous peoples in the shaping of, of Canada and much of that history and much of that interaction began right here. Uh, so it's very important. Uh, for that matter, the whole uh, architecture behind uh, treaties with uh, Indigenous peoples in this country uh, were shaped by the Treaty of Niagara in 1764, 250 years ago this year. And uh, events during the uh, War of uh, 1812, and of course, Laura Secord's uh, uh, courageous uh, uh, alerting of uh, uh, the impending uh, attack by, uh, by Americans um, were all, it was part of what was a, uh, an important era uh, in, in shaping what we know as, as, uh, as Canada. Uh, well, the, we're uh, working on a plan right now, um, uh, scheduling and the interpretation, the content development will start almost immediately, and, but it will take nearly a year to uh, fully uh, process everything and to uh, get it to um, a way that it can be uh, downloadable by uh, iPhone or smartphone along the trail. And uh, so people will be able to walk along the trail and download this information uh, and listen to it, or if they want to stay at home and read it on the computer, uh, we'll prov be providing uh, a lot of options. And um, so it'll, it'll, but it'll be, we'll have uh, some of the information up for this year's walk, uh, Saturday, June 21st, and we uh, hope people will, lots of people from all over the region will be joining us again, and, uh, but uh, it'll be fully complete by this time next year. 
The walk returns on June 21st, and for more information, you can visit the Friends website. In Niagara-on-the-Lake reporting for The Source, I'm Miriam Valdez-Carletti.